Hi, my name is Dawn and I'm a cognitive hypnotherapist. Cognitive hypnotherapy is a therapeutic approach where we use the subconscious, that's the hypnotherapy bit, and work with the conscious to reframe any events that come from your past that may be driving behaviours you don't like. That's the cognitive bit. Today, I'm going to teach you how to build an anchor. Can you imagine how useful it would be to be able to suddenly recall a really positive emotion? So no matter what was going on, to be in a position where you could feel happy or calm or any of those wonderful feelings that are so much more fun than anything else that might go on. So today, I'm going to try and talk you through building your very own positive emotion button. Now this is often called an anchor. And an anchor is a thing that is just a trigger that allows you to recall that state in an instant. And we're going to spend a little bit of time, as you watch this video, building your own personal anchor for something that means the most to you. So that at any given point in your day, whenever you need it, you can just trigger this and bring it back. Now there are a number of ways of doing this. I can build an anchor to a colour, I can build an anchor to a physical point in your hand or on your body. It doesn't really matter where we put that anchor, it just becomes a trigger that you can use whenever you need it. So make a choice now. As I talk you through this video, try and work out what you'd like your anchor to be. A quite common one is to squeeze your knuckle, not too tight, you don't want to hurt yourself, but just for a few seconds, squeeze your knuckle when I tell you to. And what I'll do through this video is I'll talk you through that. But if it works better for you to maybe think of a colour at that point, then do that. Because the lovely thing about thinking about a colour is you can wear some item of clothing, some item of jewellery, or just have that colour around you and it'll remind you of that positive state. So, let's get going. First thing we need to do is we need to think about a time where you had that feeling that you'd really like to recall in a moment. So what I'd like you to do now is just close your eyes as you listen and just focus on listening to my voice as I guide you through finding that moment. Now with your eyes closed, I want you to just take a moment to concentrate on your breathing, noticing as you breathe in and breathe out. Allowing your breathing to become more and more steady as you sit or relax and watch this video. And as you do that, I'd like you to take yourself back to a moment where you felt this emotion. It might be a moment where you were feeling particularly calm, a moment where you were feeling particularly happy. And don't overthink it too much because your subconscious will remember that moment. Your subconscious will allow you to go back there. So allow your subconscious now to take you back to that moment that you last felt this positive emotion that you so much want to recall. Or even the last time you felt it really strongly. And I wonder what you'll see when you get there. I wonder what you'll notice about the image that comes to mind. For some people it can be like a video clip the whole memory playing out in front of them, experiencing all the wonderful feelings that they have as they're there. For other people, it can just be a series of images. And for other people, it might not even be an image. It might be a feeling with colours and dimensions to it. And I wonder what those colours might be that you'd notice. Even if you're looking at a memory, I wonder what those colours might be that you notice as you feel calm or happy or whatever emotion it is that you're trying to recall. And how good it feels to just be in that moment, just feeling that. And I wonder as you look around at that moment, at that feeling, if that feeling were to have a colour, what would that colour be? And if you were to point somewhere in your body, where you felt that feeling most strongly, I wonder where you'd point. And when you've just taken a moment to enjoy that feeling, and just think about on a scale of 
1 to 10, where 10 is the most intense. How strong is that feeling that you have now? How strong is that positive feeling that we're going to recall? And if it's anywhere below a 7, I wonder what you could do to make it stronger. I wonder what you could do to the colours or the images or even the sounds that you're hearing. What is it you could do? And go ahead and do that. And if you're already there, if you're already as intense as you can be, just really enjoy it. Because it's not every day you get to enjoy a feeling like this. And now we're going to build the anchor. So for those of you that wanted to put it on your hand, now would be a good chance to take that knuckle. It doesn't really matter which knuckle it is, by the way. I wouldn't suggest you do it too far up the finger because then you might catch it. And you know what? Getting a happy buzz in the middle of doing something else can be a bit disturbing. So squeeze your knuckle for about five seconds, focusing on all that feeling, enjoying every moment, enjoying everything that you can see about it. If you're doing this to a colour, just think about that colour. How intense is it? How dark is it? How light is it? Is it moving? Has it got a shape? Just think about that colour and squeeze that knuckle. Okay. And now spend a little bit more time looking at that space in your head that you're in, that very positive, happy space, that calm space that you wanted to be able to recall. And now, for those of you that are doing the knuckle, squeeze the knuckle again. For those of you who are doing the colour, think of the colour. And I wonder, do you get an image first or do you get a feeling first or do you get them both at the same time when you do this? It doesn't really matter which one. All that matters is from this point forward, whenever you need to, you can recall that feeling at the thought of a colour or the squeeze of a knuckle. It's really that simple. So if you could go ahead now and open your eyes, and you're probably still pretty high from that feeling. But you know now, whenever you need to, however you feel, in whatever moment, all you have to do is either squeeze your knuckle or think of your colour or look at your colour, find something now that you can carry around with you that has that colour that you were thinking of. And it will remind you every time you look at it of that wonderful feeling that you just spent time in. And the lovely thing about anchors is that you can stack them. So next time something happens in your day that gives you a good feeling, whatever that good feeling is, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is that gives you that feeling, just squeeze your knuckle or think of your colour and it will stack it. It will make it even stronger. So next time you need to call on it, it's even better than it was before. So that's it. I hope you enjoy using your anchor. It's a very useful thing to have. Take care of yourself.